all right welcome back to the course guys um so let's take a look at the next um component and i'm just going to go to our toolkit and we've seen the icon so the next component is the link component so i'm going to click on link and it brings us here so basically this component helps us add a link to our website um to our app that we want to open like maybe on a browser or something like that so maybe we wanted to open a link of a website well this is how we can simply add that link to our application so what am i going to do i'm just going to copy this right and i'm going to you know shrink that up and i think i can get rid of i can close my icons because i'm not using it at this moment so where am i going to paste my link okay maybe i'm actually going to create another card component up top here okay so um hmm. maybe what i'll do is I'll, I'll just copy this card component i don't want to type anything so i'm just going to copy this i'll come up here press tab and then i'll get rid of the iframe inside of it okay okay so easy peasy all right so now i would go, i would need to go back here and copy my my link oh let me just expand this it doesn't look very pretty on a mobile device so this is the link component so let me just copy it okay and i'm just going to paste it inside of my ion card content i'll just do ctrl v and this link is actually opening to google okay so i'll save that and because you see here we have https forward slash google.com and the text is open in google so let me see what how it looks on the app so you see here we have open google exactly exactly what is here so essentially i've designed this course in such a way that all you need to do is edit stuff like you don't actually need to code stuff you just need to click to copy paste and edit so if you wanted to open to another website let's just say amazon okay all you just need to do is to change this to amazon.com i think and then save oh i'm going to change this to open amazon amazon and i'll save that okay so it's going to reload one more time and i may need to bring this out if i click on open amazon watch what happens So it actually opens Amazon website, okay? It's opening, it's behaving as if it opened it in the app, okay? But if you had this app on an Android device, what will happen is that it will pop up um, your browsers available on that device like Chrome or Safari or whatever. And then it will ask you to choose any of the browser to open that link, okay? It's opening up very like straightforward here because this is actually a browser okay so there's no need there's nothing to pop up it's already in a browser all right so basically that's how you can add i, I clicked on the back button to go back um, so basically that's how you can add a link an external link to your app okay to have your users go to any url or any website all right so thank you so much for watching this one see you in the next one all right welcome back guys so in this one we are going to look at the next component so let me go to our toolkit and we stopped at the link component so let's look at the light next one which is line break okay so this is probably the <laughs> it's not really most of a lot of the things here are not really ionic components in that sense they are just um you know snippets of code that do something okay so i just call everything components okay so i'm going to copy this okay and basically what this does is that it adds um it's create clear it creates a line break okay it adds space to what wherever you place it okay so let me show you how it's used so the first thing i'm going to do is i'll uh, let me go to my app here okay so supposing i wanted to create like some more space between this first link here and this video okay so this is the link right here Maybe I should add a comment here and say external link. Okay. Now, suppose I wanted to add more space between these two guys. I can just come here and add a line break. Okay. So I'll just come and uh, let me hit tab and I'll just paste in my line break. So it's just BR. Okay. And I'll save. 
and watch what happens let it reload And do you notice that there's more space between this first link here and then the video? Exactly. So that's basically what it does. It adds space. It pushes whatever is be below by one more space. So let me come to my text here and add some space to like move some text to the next line. So I'm going to come here, right? And I would maybe what I'll do is I would okay let's say this is where I want to add my line break I can even add it inside the text okay all I just need to do is press ctrl V okay and it will move this a B to the next line so this is the a B here let me save this and let's watch what happens and let's scroll down so you see a B has been moved to the next line okay if I want to move it down by one line all I just need to do is add another BR or line break and I'll save and it will move it down by one more line so basically the line break is just for you to move things you know add space between you know components or even within text okay so let me come down and show you so you see that there is a space here that's basically what the line break is so it's a very short and simple lecture um, thank you so much for watching and let's go to the next component all right welcome back guys so let's see the next components we have the last one we saw I'll, I'll click back to top and the last one we saw was line break so we have this line component okay so let's say you wanted to add a line you know to separate you know whatever it is so let me just click on the line and show you so this is what it looks like I don't know if this is very clear but let me just increase this okay so this is it's just a faint line okay so let me just copy this guy here and i'll come here reduce that and let's say i wanted to add a line just below this card subtitle here okay so where do where's the subtitle so welcome to my app welcome to my app right here and then the card subtitle so say i wanted to add a like a straight line just below this card subtitle all, all i just need to do is to come down here just below the card subtitle and paste in my line components and then i'll save so remember that it's just a faint line okay it's like a light gray color so let's scroll down and as you can see i hope you notice it so there is just a faint light gray line here so basically you can put this line anywhere you you know you feel like okay it would make sense to have a line at this point so that you can actually use this line component and style your page okay so that's the lecture really thank you so much and see you in the next one